Hello everybody, Slipfold7 not here with another guitar tutorial lesson. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to play uh, Dancing on Nails by We Are Harlot, but first uh, I'd just like to ha make a, a fucking... Here's a big shout out to all the people that, um, that added me on Snapchat and uh, spoke to me on Amigo etc. So we've got Kaylee Days, That Skittles Kid, Ali Marie 727 Os 10 Betch, like in the name, Broken Crosses, Chase Messick, Cupboards Mate, Infinite That Guy, Isaac 13J Nandez, Juan VW, KTILY, Mortit Darbo, Motionless Girl 197, and That One Emo Kid. So thank you very much, guys. It was lovely chatting to you. Uh, if you want to add me on Snapchat or on Instagram or anything like that, Facebook, like my Facebook page, then just type my uh, type my username in, Slipford 7 and I will show up. Right, so let's go on to the lesson. So, We Are Harlow are a pretty fucking awesome band, and this song is in in standard. So uh, the notes you'll see on the side of the screen there, it is E, A, D, G, B, and finally E. So the tuning that you should start to learn when you start, when you first start playing guitar, and it's a pretty fucking standard tuning, but well, it is standard tuning. <laughs> So uh, yeah, let's start cracking on with the song. So first of all, I'm just gonna go into like a cleaner, dirty channel. So you're gonna start off on the A string and you wanna start off on the three and you wanna slide up to the five. So you just wanna go like that. So, and you're gonna use that slide quite a bit in the song and you'll see what I mean. So you just wanna start on the three and slide up to the five. Obviously the tabs will be there to help you throughout the whole way, so if you ever get lost, this is a pretty easy song, pretty quick song, so you won't really get lost, but if you do, uh, the tabs are just there to help you out. So yeah, we're going to slide up 3 to the 5, and then as you do that, you want to play an open D string, so, so it's the same note, same note as the 5th fifth, uh, the fifth fret on the A string, it just sounds cool, so, this, so we're going to do this. And essentially you want to keep repeating doing that, so you want to... Slide up every couple of times. And then you just want to keep going for the intro. If you're playing the rhythm guitar, then you just want to keep doing this. Essentially, pretty straightforward. So it's just sliding up from the three to the five and playing the open on the D string every so uh, every between every time you slide up. As for the lead guitar, what you want to be doing, so you want to go onto the G string here and you want to do a bend on the twelve. So you want to go and then you want to do a 10 on the G, so and then you want to do a 12, 10, 12 on the higher D string, so so you want a 12, 10, 10, so 12, 10, 12, sorry, so, so bend, bend 12 on the G string, 10 on the G string, and then 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, sorry, on the, the low, uh, the high D string, sorry, so and then for the second time around, you just want to go bend on the 12 and then finish on the 10. So you just want to go. Just let that ring out, do a bit of a vibrato with your finger. And then you just want to keep repeating that until the verse comes in. So while the rhythm guitarist is doing that, you're just doing this. So. all you're going to be doing essentially so it's a really simple intro but it's really catchy and it sounds pretty cool what I sometimes like to do on the 10 instead of on that second time around instead of just doing the 10 note and just doing the vibrato I like to sometimes use bar bar the G and uh, the B string on the 10th fret and just play that just sort of gives it a bit more sort of more I don't know sort of, I, I don't know just sounds cool so <laughs> that's how I do it so just have that rather than just a standard note gives it a bit more, you know, I, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, yeah, so that's the intro done. And now let's move forward to the verse. So you just want to bend out. And now this is the verse. So it's basically power chords and you're going to be staying on the low three strings, so the lowest three strings. So you want to start off on doing a power chord on the fifth fret. You can look on the tabs, so you'll see what I mean. So it just goes. So you want to do four times on that. So and then you want to do a few chunks every time. You want to do a few blockage every time in between each chord. So you want so it's not that many, but you just see you just kind of blocking the strings out there. So it's going to... So what you're doing there, the notes are 5, 7, 7, let's see. Then you want to do a 6, 8, 8 on the lower string. Power chord still. Then you want to do 5, 7, 7 on the lower strings. 
And then you want to go up to 8. And then you want to go back down to 6, 8, 8. And you want to do that, repeat that for the whole verse. Essentially, you're just going to repeat that, I believe, twice, maybe three, four times, and then that's the whole verse done. So I'll play it for you one more time, you can follow along with me. So you're just blocking, between each chord, you're just doing a few, like, kind of dead note. You're just sort of not playing anything, but you've still got that rhythm there with the right hand. So going to... Many times. Now you're going to, all you're going to do for the pre-chorus is essentially just strum the strings down on the fifth fret that's on the harmonic. So eventually you're just going to be holding your finger against the fifth fret on that metal bit of the fifth fret. So the actual fret itself and not the gap in between. So just there. So you just want to hover over it. So I'm not pressing down and you just want to go. So just play them bottom three strings and it'll give you that kind of harmonic y chunky sound. So yeah, so we'll just go. But I just can't say no. And then we're just going to go into the chorus, which is, surprisingly enough, the intro for the rhythm, but in power chord versions. So, as you guessed, it is power chord on the 355, so that power chord, sliding up. So that's essentially all you're going to be doing. I mean, I'm going to go back to the, my main distortion channel. But yeah, so all you're doing is power chord on the A string on the third, the third fret, sliding up to the fifth, playing that a few times, and dropping back down, up again. You just want to keep repeating that. So we'll just do the chorus now. So. And then all you want to do now is repeat the same verse again. The verse doesn't change whatsoever. Okay, so now we're just going to go back to the verse. So essentially, so it's a power chord on the five, then low six, five, then eight on the low, and then six on the low. So you just keep doing that verse. And then until we get to the pre chorus again, which as you guess is exactly the same thing. This video is going to be quite short because it is pretty much all the same thing. Uh, so you want to do the pre chorus again, which is as you guessed it, it's just natural harmonics on the fifth fret. Okay, and then we're going to go to the chorus, which is as you guessed it, the same bloody thing. So it's the yeah, chorus. So yeah, I'm not going to play it again because it's going to unnecessarily make this video long um, <laughs> so yeah so that is all it is so basically up until the second chorus so far is exactly the same thing so if you know what the first verse is you know what the second verse is if you know what the pre-chorus is you know what the chorus is all I'm going to say now is after the second chorus is done it goes into almost like a bridge chorus so it's a bit it's a bit different and all you're going to be doing there is literally instead of starting on the three you're going to be starting on the five and sliding up to the seven that is literally it the same same rhythm same everything else with that slide as well you're just going to go up and, one uh, step up, one step, yeah, one step up. So, yeah. so instead of doing that, you're going to be. Okay, and now we're going to go to uh, the pre chorus, uh, the pre chorus, sorry, the, the pre solo bit, which is essentially, so you just want to be going 11 13. So you're going to go 11, 13, and 10, 12. So you're going to go 11, 13, sorry, I'm just trying to work it out. 11, 13, and 10, 12. So then you want to go, so 11, 13, 10, 12. Um, what the hell? Um, <laughs> 8, 10, sorry. 6, 8, and then 3, 5. So, so then last two notes are really quick. So 11, 13. I'll slow it down. Okay, so that's what you want to do. So that's kind of the, the bridge chorusy bit, you know, that, that bit. It's just a bit higher up and it's pretty cool because it leads into this solo. 
Um, right, so that's this solo is probably going to be the longest part of the video. Uh, I'll do my best to teach it. If not, look at the tabs. I will provide the tabs. They are going to be here somewhere, and you can look at them as well. So let's go straight into the solo. So as we're going so far, so you want to start on the the, tw uh, the 12th fret of the G string, like the, the the lead guitarist does in the intro. So it says that you want to bend, and on the, on the B string, you're going to do a hammer on pull off on the 10, 13, 10. So you want but after every time you do the hammer on pull off, you want to do another bend. So you're going to be using that same ring finger to bend it every time. But you just want to play. You want to play basically the 12 and the 10 at the same time. It's is really confusing, but I'll see. So you go. So you go. So yeah, so that's just 12 bend on the G string, 10, 13 on the B string, and then back again. Right again, so Then when you're bending afterwards, you want to go to the 10 on the highest E string. Do a hammer and pull off there, and then go back down <laughs> to that 13 on the B string. And then you want to do a 12, 10 on the G string. End on the D end on the 12 on the D string. This is really difficult to explain. I hope you're keeping up. Look at the tabs if you're getting confused. So what we've got so far is... So this is what I'm trying to explain, so that. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the next bit, which is you want to do a bend. Bend on the 13, pull off on the 10 after doing the bend. So you don't have to, pull, yeah, you don't have to um, pull it off, actually. You can just play the 10, so on the B string. So, so that's 13, 10. Then 12, 10 on the G string. And then you want to do a 12, 10 back on here, back up to the 12. So, so you go. Wait a second. Yeah, so you want to go 13, bend there, bend on the 12. And then go end on the 12 on the D string. And now what you're going to do is that bar chord, you know what I said that I like to do on the intro? That way you just block both strings there. And you just want to do that on the 10, the 12, and then back to 10 again. Using your index finger and then your ring finger. 10, 12, and 10 again. So. I'll try again, that's just slow. If that makes sense, look at the tabs if, you know, if you're a bit confused. But yeah. Then what you want to do is on the highest string and the B string, you want to bend on the 10, 13. And then on the 13, 16, you want to play that. And then either you can play 15, 18, or I do 16, 19, just for the last note. Depending on how high you want to go, depending on how much you want to bend. Or that, 15, 18, or, 7, or 16, and 19. So let's try to do that slow I'll try, maybe try and play the slow low slow, so you can look at the tabs as well. If you haven't got a guitar to hand, then this is basically the solo. So go... Um, and then it's just going to pause for a minute and it's going to go back to that intro sounding riff which you could do that, that riff there that intro riff which I don't need to put the tabs up but yeah so you can just literally do that for a, spe a second and then you want to go back into the chorus which as you guess exactly the same thing not high up but it's just the third, uh, the three on the A string sliding up to the five so it's just like the <laughs> Got me feel like I've been dancing all nails. And that is the end of the song. So it's a really short song, pretty simple song by the solo, but the solo is pretty easy. I just made a massive cock up of trying to teach you it. So um, yeah, if you have any struggles in this song, then just go back to whatever part was struggling you. Look at the tabs, 
um, and try and figure it out. If not, then try and watch what I did and hopefully you'll be able to figure it out somehow. Just keep practicing and you'll get there in the end. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching this lesson, guys. Uh, keep subscribing, keep telling all your friends and all your family and just, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you very much for all the support you guys have given me. Keep, uh, keep following me on Facebook, add me on Snapchat, same as my username. Uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, you can even follow me on Twitter, although I don't really use Twitter that much, so you can follow me on Instagram if you'd like. Uh, everything same as my username and uh, a Q&A video will sh should be coming up very soon, so keep your questions coming in. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Take care guys, bye.